the way we've been treating allergies for decades was designed for people with relatively normal immune systems. But when we have something like Sjogren's disease, we don't have a normal immune system, right? We have an overachieving immune system. So here's what I see happening in kind of the traditional allergy care for autoimmune patients. First, we throw antihistamines at the problem, but many antihistamines have what are called anticholinergic effects. They block the same pathways that help you produce saliva and tears and mucus in your nose. So we're literally making your dryness worse while trying to treat your allergies. Number two, we're offering traditional allergy shots. Those weekly shots, have you go into the office? Well, frankly, logistically, they're a pain in the butt or the arm as the case may be. And you already have an overactive immune system that is focusing its efforts on essentially attacking your own tissues. So on top of that, we're asking you to commit to three to five years of weekly to monthly injections hoping that your immune system will learn to calm down. Now, we do know that these can be helpful, but sometimes those shot appointments can lead to a minor flare-up. And so if you're having those minor flare-ups week after week, month after month, it can make it challenging to actually get to that therapeutic dose that we need in order to affect that immune system retraining process. Third, when patients don't respond well to conventional treatment, we tend to just add things on, more antihistamines, nose sprays, eye drops, maybe some steroids. We're building a house of cards and each medication we're trying to counteract the side effects of the last one. And the result is you're taking more pills, you're spending more money, you're dealing with more nasal irritation and nosebleeds. It's a system problem that isn't your fault, right? In the end, you're doing all these things and you still often feel pretty terrible. We've been using 20th century solutions for a 21st century autoimmune complexity. So the future of allergy management isn't just about suppressing symptoms, it's about re-educating your immune system at the cellular level.